I'd like to introduce a, a study uh, which has been the result of a collaborative effort uh, between uh, University College London uh, with John Wood, Andres Ruiz Linares and Barbara Cromer, as well as Columbia, uh, where Francesco Lepera is based, and our own lab. The study first occurred as a consequence of identifying a uh, family in Colombia which had a heritable pain syndrome which was inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion and actually the phenotype of this pain syndrome is, is very interesting as we, we can't find a similar description of such a phenotype within the literature. The pain starts to occur really within the first few months of life. It has a characteristic distribution in that it affects the upper body, the thorax, the arms and at times extending to the abdomen and the lower legs. The pain is very severe. Uh, women with the syndrome say that the pain is more severe than childbirth. And it has particular triggers. It, it's triggered by fasting, by cold, and by exercise. Barbara Cromea and Andres Ruiz Linares performed linkage analysis and linked this phenotype to a particular region of chromosome 8. And then James Cox went on and identified a mutation in the iron channel trip A1 as a cause of this syndrome. We found a single heterozygous missense change in the family. And this change looked highly significant when we modelled it because it mapped to the fourth transmembrane segment of the TRIP-A1 protein. And this is a highly conserved region of the protein. The mutation was absent from ethnically matched controls and also segregated faithfully throughout the family. And so the mutation seemed to be disease causing, but we needed to prove this. And so my second contribution to the paper was to clone the mutation in an expression plasmid so that it could be tested by patch camping by Francois and Ali in John Woods' team in London. We were involved in the biophysical characterization of the wild type of mutant channel. And as you can see from this figure here, we found that there was a five-fold increase in inward current and negative membrane potentials in the mutant channel compared to the wild type channels. Pharmacology of both the wild type and mutant channel remains unaltered. This suggests that agonist binding to the channel is unaffected. So very interestingly, not only do we show that uh, exogenous agonists of the triple one channels can activate um, the mutant channels, but we also show that endogenous agonists can mm. have the same effect. And we also show that this can be blocked by a highly specific antagonist uh, of triple one channels, and that's good news for future therapeutic interventions. Uh, finally, we've also shown that the triple one uh, mutant channels can be activated by cold, and this is further evidence of uh, trip A1 acting as a cold sensor, which was first proposed by Arden Taputian and later confirmed by Bern Nielus Group. The present work actually represents the first uh, pain channelopathy associated with trip channels, and these are fascinating channels in terms of sensory function. The first trip channel was uh, cloned by Craig Montel in 1989, uh, a Drosophila channel uh, implicated in vision. And the pain community was really energized by the discovery in 1997 by Michael Caterina and David Julius that a trip channel was able to transduce noxious heat in mammalian sensory neurons. In um, 2003, Adam Padaputian found another member of the uh, TRP family, trip A1, was activated by noxious cold and was also expressed uh, in sensory neurons. And since that time, uh, a large number of trip channels have been catalogued in somatosensory neurons and have been integrated in various aspects of heat sensing as well as responses uh, to painful stimuli. TRIP-A1 is interesting in that it seems to be gated by a variety of environmental irritants. This is work from David Julius's group, uh, which is carried out in transgenic mouse models. And much of the information that we have about the functions of trip channels comes from studies of transgenic knockout mice. It's perhaps surprising that there are so few human pain syndromes that have uh, as yet been linked to the misexpression of trip channels. And we expect that over the coming decade, with advances in uh, high throughput sequencing technology and uh, large scale genome wide association studies, that we will in fact find both gain and loss of function pain syndromes associated with other molecules, and trip channels are likely uh, to figure in this area.